Well, at least she hasn't outgrown the teddy bear. She would be so shocked if we told her. Well, to be sure. <laughs> I guess she's just a budding rebel by day, but by night she's still our little girl. A somewhat longer version, however. Yes, it's a longer version. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Come on, you just... You're just grateful for an extra target for her to pick on. Yes, you're right. <laughs> no, you're very good for her. No, no, I guess we should be prepared for more of this insurrection over the coming years. I just hope we handle it better than George III did. Don't worry, we outnumber her. Good point. <laughs> now, while we're handing out uh, thank yous here, I want to thank you for interfering in my private life last night. Well, you're welcome. I just hope that you got things out in the open a bit. Well, one thing it did do is it convinced me more than ever that I'm going to bury Devore's Althea's co-conspirator. Hmm? I know this is a sensitive subject, huh? but um, there are other ways of, of winning a lady over other than locking her fiancé up. I mean, it has potential, but... You and Donnelly must go to the same scriptwriter. I want you to know something. Now, I know a thing or two about romance, huh? This is no idiot here. And beneath this macho, Intellectual exterior is a real sweetheart of a guy. Well, good night then. <laughs> <laughs> however, however, I will say this with with DeBoer in Los Angeles and Delafield in Chicago, this guy is gonna rest easy. Have a good night, Steve. Can I speak with Robert Scorpio, please? Uh, the commissioner's been gone for several hours now. Oh, he is. Doesn't he usually stay in his office till past supper? Lady, I think you better get your clock fixed. It's more like midnight snack time oh. around here. Ah, I forgot. I'm calling from California, and I forgot all about the three-hour time difference. You're calling long distance from California, huh? Yeah. Well, let me tell you, if it's that important, I can have him paged for No, 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 no. Um, that's all right. It's personal. Well, how about if you leave your name and number and I'll make sure he gets your message? No, no, that's all right. The message that I have to deliver to him has to be in person. chapel on Full House, and Wesley preps a pal on pranks on Mr. Belvedere. Afterwards, sisters learn to share and share alike when they're visited by a handsome exchange student on just the ten of us. Tonight, all starting at 8, 7 Central.
the heat. Get into the fire of General Hospital weekdays. Have you been watching General Hospital lately? I warned you! Your father killed my husband, and if you open those big eyes any wider, I'm gonna rip them out of your skull! No! 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 On General Hospital. A shocking fact is revealed. Isn't it true? I mean, you're not really married to Ariel, are you? I don't know. There are gaps in my memory. She has a marriage certificate. I don't know if it's real or not, but it looks like my signature. 